So today I have some very interesting and pretty important Battlefield 4 news. We have just been told in a statement by EA that they have now told DICE to stop all development of future DLCs for Battlefield 4. They now want DICE to put all of their effort and concentration into fixing all of the issues that do still reside in the base game of Battlefield 4. So this means in future months we won't be seeing any Naval Strike, Dragon's Teeth or Final Stand coming to Battlefield 4 and we won't be seeing Second Assault on PC anytime soon. Now of course whether or not you take this news as a positive or a negative thing is entirely down to your own opinion. I know there are a lot of people out there who are taking this as great news. At last, DICE are taking some really strong positive steps towards fixing some of these issues that do still clearly reside in the game. And of course, there's the other side of the argument. Some people are gonna be very upset. They've paid a lot of money towards their premium and they're no longer gonna be receiving these DLCs on the dates they expected. Now, of course, in recent months, DICE have become a bigger developer than they've ever been before. With the opening of the DICE LA office that used to be Danger Close, these guys did work on the Second Assault DLC, and there were rumours they did work on all of the DLCs for Battlefield 4, but I can confirm that definitely isn't the truth. The Stockholm DICE office have been working on the rest of the DLCs, so it does seem like it's going to be these guys, the main office in Stockholm, that are now going to be taking on the challenge of completely ironing out Battlefield 4. Now this setback in development could also have a major repercussion on other games. Of course we know that DICE are also working on the massively anticipated Star Wars Battlefront, and being told by DICE to go back to the base game of Battlefield 4, really iron out and sort out these issues before even working on the DLC for the game really means games like Star Wars Battlefront are going to be put on the back burner. So I think in the next few coming weeks and months, we're going to see some of those release dates we've been eagerly anticipating push back a little way. But personally, I don't think this is a bad thing. In fact, this is some of the best Battlefield 4 news we have had since the game has been released. At last, EA and DICE have listened to our cries, they have accepted responsibility and taken on board there is some serious issues with the game and something very drastic and much needed is finally being done to fix it. I would rather have a Battlefield 4 with no DLCs that work perfectly rather than them churning out all of these DLCs and all of them still being riddled with the same issues and problems we had since the game was first released. And of course, this can only be seen as a great step in the right direction by EA. They have said in recent weeks they no longer want to be given the title of the worst company in the USA as they have been for the last few years in a row. This is a great step in the right direction. They're taking on board all of the consumers thoughts and opinions and something drastic is really being done to fix the issues. So overall whilst this may seem like some pretty scary and daunting news I do think in the long run it is going to really benefit the game and of course us the gamers. We all love Battlefield 4 and to see some real serious time and effort put in to fix those issues is only going to prove to be a positive thing. But now I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Are you annoyed that you're not going to see your DLCs when you expected? Or do you think this is some really great news that DICE and EA are taking some serious time to try and fix a game we love so much? And of course, if you do enjoy these news videos to keep you guys up to date with all the latest Battlefield 4 news and events, don't forget to hit the like button. It does help me out a lot. But in the meantime, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you soon.